to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for December the 10th through the December the 16th. We're getting very close, darling. (coughs) Excuse me. And um, thank you for all the likes, shares, comments and all the new subscribers. I really appreciate you. Um, These are general readings, guys. Um, So if you would like a personal reading, please click on this link here, which will take you to my website. And you can take a look at the kind of readings that I offer. Um, I am also on Patreon and uh, that's a lovely way to support me for as little as a dollar or one time donation or or a dollar a month or, you know. uh, And if you can't, that's fine. Check it out anyway. And that link is here also. Uh, Now, the aspects we'll be talking about really is um, uh, Mercury is moving into Sagittarius. Now, it's just gone direct and it's going into Sagittarius. Um, And the sun in Sagittarius sextiles the moon on the same day. And it's a it's a beautiful, um, harmonious relationship. Um, So I'll go into more details on your uh, horoscopes. And without further ado, let's go to them, shall we? Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your reading for December the 10th through December the 16th. And uh, let's do an intention for these cards. This is for Cancer, for Cancer for December the 10th through December the 16th. What wonderful blessings, guidance and helpful information can you give Cancer for this coming week? Okay, now what's going on astrologically? What's your horoscope this week? Okay, Cancer. You have the moon in Aquarius in the eighth house, right? The eighth house is the house of death and rebirth, transformation. Uh, This, okay, before I go any further, it is having a beautiful conversation with the sun in your sixth house. That is, now this is general reading. For some of you, it's about health. And for some of you, it's about service. I think there's going to be some major changes in terms of your health. I feel that you, some of you could get a health scare and decide to really change the way uh, you are doing things. You might decide to get very... Um, if you, you're going to bring in a healthy, uh, a healthy regimen, you know, eating healthy, exercising. And some of you are going to really uh, connect with service. So if you are in, uh, if your work is of service to people, I feel that this is a wonderful, I think things are going to change in that respect. I feel that you're going to, I think you're going to get a much uh, deeper connection to it and know how to go forward. And I think it's going to, has the possibility to take off because you've also got Mercury in the same house, in the sixth house, right? So Mercury is going to give you some ideas. It's going to help you communicate. If you are in the uh, non-profit Uh, sector. You could really come up with some brilliant ideas for fundraising. If you are in the healing industry and helping people to heal, you are really going to kind of uh, take off. Um, Or if you're in any kind of industry where you're helping people, you know, you're helping human rights, anything like that. um, You know, this is a wonderful time for you. Uh, These are clarifying cards for cancer, clarifying cards for cancer for the December the uh, 10th through December the 16th. Um, Now, you also have Mercury in in that house, uh, not Mercury, sorry, uh, Jupiter um, for, you know, for for quite a while. So I feel that I think that this is a wonderful time for you to focus on uh, the service and being in service to others, to helping people. You know, any anything like this, any any kind of, you know, Reiki, acupuncture, uh, nutrition, holistic nutrition, tarot cards, mediums, you know, anything that's going to help people heal and move forward. Um, so, oh, wow, this is very interesting. 
Okay, so now uh, let's clarify this. That is your horoscope cancer. Let's go to your cards. You have clarify. There it is. Okay. I think things are really kind of... Oh, lovely. Okay. Now, cancer. The first card out for you is the queen of pentacles look she's so she's opulence she's manifesting wealth she's got beautiful possessions she loves to be surrounded by luxury and but she works very hard for it so this is saying listen you can have everything that you want but you need to work hard for it it's like really get up take the action go gung-ho don't sit down things will not happen for you unless you get up and make it happen so that's the message from the queen of pentacles and look clarifying it is the hermit it's about meditation cancer this is about separate don't allow your mind to uh control you that's what i get with this and, and this is definitely about the light at the end of the tunnel. Now, you could be getting the light at the end of the tunnel, but I feel that you need to kind of clear your mind because if you're, you, you look, it's so easy to go down that road of negativity. So you need to kind of clear that. And once you clear that away, that negativity and that, um, woe is me in the worst case scenario, you can, really separate yourself from your mind and that's what this light here represents it's the separation it's like the monkey brain don't allow the monkey brain to take over um so once you separate it you'll have this wisdom and you can hold the light up for others but i feel that you're getting there's a light at the end of the tunnel for you cancer i'm really getting that for you things are changing and in a big way look you've got the ten of wands it's like, don't take on too much. It's very important not to say yes when you should be saying no, not to accept things. And you've got the moon there, definitely nurturing yourself. You've got to be aware of your limitations. Don't overextend yourself. Don't promise deadlines when you can't do it. I think I really need to hear this myself. This is definitely me with deadline oh yeah I can do it I can do it I can do it and you know I really have to kind of draw a boundary there because this is blocking you from moving forward because sometimes when we overextend ourselves and we're you know we have these impending deadlines uh you know dates that we need to get things completed by it's almost debilitating and stops you from moving forward because you it's like oh my god I'll never get it done and you're worried about never getting it done and so you don't get it done because you're just thinking about you're not getting it done and you don't attempt to do it so this is very important and look clarifying that is the ten of ears tens are endings and beginnings so I feel look the ten of air has been a very difficult you've really gone through a difficult time cancer I can attest to that I've been there with you I'm a cancer cancer son anyway so this is really saying you've really been through the ringer and guess what it's over darling and this is about letting go of the pain and the hurt and the betrayal that you felt it's like you've got to let it go because it's it's you move on from it it's not worth even thinking about it's not worth giving it any time it's just move on things are ending this is all going it's really nice to know that the hard times are over for you now cancer things are going to get better and look the next card is you've got the high priestess and the high priestess is like you know of course intuition and psychic abilities which you always have anyway being a very deep and sensitive water sign uh, but when the high priestess comes in she's available there for you she's going to give you the kashic records she's going to help you move forward she's going to guide you in the way if you connect with her so connect with her so that she can guide you uh, and she will, the path will be illuminated because you have been feeling stuck. Now, this is the Eight of Swords, and this is an illusion. This is being stuck in your head. This is thinking you're, this is being a prisoner of your own mind. This is, you built these walls and you 
lock the door and you can unlock it just as easily. It's just in your head. So this is saying, look, you really need to connect with her because you need to get out of this thing of feeling trapped and thinking that you can't make it. This is that thought you'll never do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You, you know, you're not going to be able to have the apartment, have whatever you want, whatever it is that you want. You'll never be able to finish that degree, whatever it is for you. You'll never feel free. So this is an illusion of being trapped. There's always a solution, Cancer, always. You know, and meditation and, and the, the uh, pr high priestess will illuminate the way out. She'll be able to tell you how to get out of this. You'll be able to logically think and say, oh, wow, that's crazy that I thought that, you know. Um, and look, you've got the messenger of water. This is the gift of, the, first of all, it's the gift of intuition and psychic abilities, but it's also a gift of love. It's like, allow love to come in. That will open the door to anything, right? Open your heart and open your arms to love. You know, wake up in the morning and say, I am ready to receive all the love and abundance you have to offer, right? It's amazing how that will change things for you. When you just wake up and you say, I have my arms open, I'm ready to receive all the love and the abundance you have to offer. And you're opening your heart chakra and you are ready to receive. It's a wonderful way to start the day. Cancer, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all and I'll see you next week. <laughs>